Not so long ago, Google was the darling of the tech world. These days, though, Facebook is king, getting more traffic and a $500 million investment led by Goldman Sachs. Joining us now on the phone to explain the latest war for the web is analyst Gene Munster of Piper Jaffray. He is joining us now from Minneapolis. Gene, thanks for joining us this morning. You cover Apple, you cover Google, you have buys on both. But how much does Facebook's rising power threaten both of those business models for Google and Apple? Well, Apple has Ping, which basically is a social network, but it really doesn't compete with Facebook. Google is worried about Facebook because what Facebook has shown is that finding information is more social-based and less machine-based. And as people trust friends more than machines, you're going to see ad dollars shifting from Google over to Facebook. Uh, Gene, is there any way that Google can catch up with Facebook by, say, making an acquisition or some kind of investment? Is there anything out there that would allow Google to make up this, the ground that it's losing so quickly? There really isn't, and at the end of the day is that Google has given up on social. Uh, they had a product called Buzz that basically failed a few months ago. They have some other initiatives called Google Me and Google Now, but the reality is, is that they can't recreate the social graph. That's basically won by Facebook. And as Facebook gets more sophisticated in terms of guessing what its users want, which is probably about 600 million people right now, compared to about a billion people on Facebook, so it's getting pretty, or, sorry, a billion people on Google, that, that gap is closing very quickly. I think you're going to continue to see those ad dollars shift, and unfortunately, Google just can't do anything. They're not going to create a social network that's going to steal people away from Facebook. Uh, Gene, that's quite a statement that Google has given up on social. Are you absolutely certain of that? And if that's the case, uh, you know, where is Google going to find the kind of growth that it's enjoyed as the dominant search company? I mean, the reality is that they're going to still try to somehow tie into the social grid. As I mentioned, this either Google, Google Me or Google Now, some of these other initiatives. But the, um, I think what they're going to try to do is just continue to improve search. And again, I think the unfortunate reality and the reason why Facebook has this outrageous valuation, seemingly outrageous valuation, is that this is simply where ad dollars are going to go in the future. And that's how investors are seeing this. So as, again, the, the social get, graph gets better at predicting what people want. Advertisers are going to flock to these platforms, and unfortunately, it's just a very difficult place for Google to be in a longer term. And if you just take a, a higher level approach to this and talk to people in the Valley, Facebook really is Google five years ago. It's the place where all the rock stars want to work, and Google is, is just not innovating as fast as it used to be. It's turning into more of Microsoft, and that's just kind of the law of the reality of becoming a, a big company with 23,000 employees. Uh, Gene, that five-year target that you just alluded to or this five-year span raises another question. I mean, how much longer then does Google have, to go back with something else you said, to monetize ad revenue? We know that Facebook monetizes its users about 2 to $3 per user. Google gets about 25 How long then before that gap is closed? Well, the, the gap is closing every day. I mean, you're seeing uh, Google growing at about 22% uh, this year, and you're seeing Facebook growing at about 100%. So I think the reality is is that uh, I, I think that you know if you fast forward five years from now, who's going to have more revenue, Google or Facebook? It's probably going to be Google. But if you're just going to fast forward and look at the growth rates for the next five years between the two companies, clearly the advantage is to to Facebook for all those reasons that we're talking about. And the core issue here is how people are buying things is changing, and advertisers need to change how they spend their dollars to really target those people. Uh, Gina, I want to ask you a question. About about the issue that has attracted the SEC's attention, and this is the whole question of having to file public financials. As an analyst, you know how valuable public financial statements are. And my question is this, how much of a competitive disadvantage is it for companies like Google, for example, or Apple, perhaps, or Salesforce.com, which uh, weighed on in the issue, uh, I think, overnight, that, that Facebook can uh, raise money and yet remain private? Well, it's, it's a nice advantage. I wouldn't say it's a huge advantage to Facebook to, to keep some of these financials. I think the reality is is that, that the big companies that compete with Facebook know very well what's going on inside. They don't need to listen to an earnings conference call to, to glean insight. So um, it's, it's nice just for the logistics of running a, a, a private company. It's much more efficient than running a public company. Time for management's not spent talking to investors. So from that perspective, it's a benefit to Facebook. But the reality is, is that Google... And 
and Yahoo know very well what's going on because those employees are jumping uh, ship quickly from Yahoo and Google over to Facebook, and I think there's some back channels to those other companies. Gene, that breaks, it brings up a great point. I mean, if all of us see that Facebook is the next best thing, I mean, how much does Google have to be worried? How much does, Google, does Yahoo have to be worried about losing top talent? Well, they're definitely losing talent. I mean, as I mentioned, it's it's the place where rock stars want to work now is Facebook. And so I think that uh, there, there's no way to replace that. This has the same feel as, as, as Google did five years ago. So I, I think that um, the reality is this. It just comes down to simple growth. As we talked about, Google growing 22 percent, Facebook growing 100 percent. People want to work with the best. People want to work with the fastest growing companies that are most innovative. One thing that I'm most impressed by by researching Facebook is just the urgency that the company still has despite their success. They have 1,700 to 2,000 employees, somewhere in that range. Google, as I said, has 23,000. It's David versus Goliath, but David is extremely motivated here. And I'm, I'm most inspired by, uh, by that, by that uh, passion and urgency that they have despite the fact that they're bringing in top talent that have already proven themselves. These people still want to change the world. Gene, thank you so much for joining us. Gene Munster joining us on the phone from Minneapolis. He is with Piper Jaffrey. He covers Google. He covers Apple. Just giving us his thoughts there on Facebook.